Hello to you. This is Jesse Johnson. This is the ultimate warning. 50% to 60% of the human humanity will perish. The phoenix and the, ne the nemesis, Nibiru, is coming. The year 2040 to 2046 AD and other sky objects I will speak of. If it weren't for flat earthers at this particular present time, the human race would be damn near doomed, not knowing almost any truths. The general totality of Western, Eastern, Southern, and Northern cultures and human societies in general are so depressed repressed and suppressed, along with corruption in all major institutions. Everything is connected in this universe, interwoven. Everything is an aspect and integrally one with the universe, which is a singularity field. Our skies are populated by many systems, and the sky systems of sun, moon, wandering stars, and fixed stars are precise like clockworks from which we make our own clocks and calendars. Outside of the regular sky systems we are familiar with, there are other sky objects up there. Most humans have been taught wrong by humans. This causes so much heartache, heartbreak, poverty, and bloodshed on a world scale. Since the heavens above us are as clockwork, there are two main sky objects that causes outright havoc to the Earth's surface surface in parts. This is the Phoenix and the Nemesis Nibiru. There's another one called the Black Sun Occultation Disk that blocks the sun's light. This is not a moon eclipse, but something much more sinister and foreboding. The Phoenix comes every 138 years and Nemesis comes every nine, pardon me, every 792 years, bringing disturbance and tumult to Earth's surface. Very rarely are both back to back. If the recorded past of 6,000 years is a clockwork indication of occurrence, then Phoenix will arrive 2040 to 2041 AD, and Nemesis will arrive 2046 20 to 2047 AD, or about 15 to 20 years from now. If this happens back to back, then it can be predicted with an 80% accuracy that 50% to 60% of the human race will perish, along with so many large percentages of other species. As far as I can tell from the information I've gone over, there is about a 96 to 98 percent chance that both astro bodies are coming and are, are already near. The elite have already been building underground full cities since the 1980s and before with billions of dollars of the taxpayers' money, but they will never tell you of the coming or of the money, or of the underground cities. They have everything they need, and they have been preparing. The elite of all countries care nothing, nothing for the human race, their, the, which is their own species. What is going to happen is called a reset by chronologists. Please go to and write Archaics, A-R-C-H-A-X-I, into YouTube. This is Dr. Jason Belshear, J-A-S-O-N, Jason Belshear, B-E-L-S-H-E-A-R, Dr. B Jason Belshear, one of the greatest world chronologers on earth. For all my videos, write Jesse Johnson, J-E-S-S-I-E, -S -S -E, Jesse Johnson, Flat Earth, into YouTube. Now... This is a major warning to and for the human race. You must prepare for your life and loved ones. Now we will go to an illustration. Hold on, please. Now to continue. This is a representation of the earth, the, the, the reddish pink part, the earth. And the first yellow one right here, the first yellow one, the first yellow one is the Mark Sargent primary dome firmament. It is 70, it is approximately 73 miles above our, our, the surface of the earth. The second one here, the second one in yellow right here. 
The second one is the Sun Moon Dome. It's approximately two thousand miles above the Earth, and 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 within the the Sun Moon Dome, we have two to five suns. And our our main sun, our main sun, is 1,651 miles above the Earth's surface. The other two to five suns, every as far as I can tell, every 100 or 200 years they line up. Now, this here is the black star occultation disk right here, right here. This is Mercury, Venus, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune, right here within the sun-moon dome of 2,000 miles above the surface of the Earth. Here is the moon, which is 1,550 to 1,600 miles above the Earth's surface, right here, the moon. And here is Nemesis. It comes every 792 years like clockwork. Nemesis Nibiru. Here is the phoenix. It comes 100 every, every 138 years like clockwork. This here is Nemesis. Inside the sun-moon dome is an inert gas. It creates clouds at times, which has been recorded dozens of times on videos, on YouTube as a matter of fact, dozens of times, clouds with, in back of the sun and so forth. This is created by an inert gas within the sun-moon dome. The, this third one, this third one right here, the third one, yellow right here, the third one, is... The Central North Pole Star Dome, it's seven, approximately 7,000 miles, as far as I can tell, above the Earth's surface. And it houses, safely houses, the, the Central North Pole Star, which is Polaris, which is 6,589 6, miles above the Earth's surface. Now... Did I say that this is the Mark Sergeant right here? This first dome is the Mark Sergeant Primary Dome Firmament. And we have approximately, as far as I can tell, there are three Antarctic rings with a probable fourth. But here's the first Antarctic ring, uh, Antarctic belt, the second Antarctic belt, the third Antarctic belt. And with the third Antarctic belt, you, you will find the Martin Kenny Vedic Great Mountain Range. Right here is the low stars. Right, these dashed lines represents the low stars, which is 3,000 to 10,000 miles above the Earth's surface. Right here represents the high stars, right here, which is 10,000 to 200,000 miles. That's the high stars above the Earth's surface. And the furthest stars, as far as I can tell, are 175,000 to 200,000 miles above the Earth's surface. This straight line, straight middle line, Right here is the central North Pole. Where we live, over here, on, on this side of the Earth, is the central North Pole. Now, the Jews and the Christians call the Mark Sargent Primary Dome firmament, the Christians and the Jews call it the firmament. The modern flat earthers call it the dome. The militaries call it the barrier. The, Anan the people of Anak, or sometimes called the Anan Ananaki, or called it the shield. Flat earthers, who are also cellular biologists, call it the membrane, the earth's membrane, because they consider the earth to be a living being as a totality in its own right. The simulationist, for simulacrum, or the simulationist, consider it the construct. The physicist, mainly in thermodynamics, the physicists call it the container. Our Earth is inside of a container. And it, the, the, the dome firmament, the dome firmament that is 73 miles above our head, huge, I mean large electrical works and displays are on its dome ceiling. Many people mistake this for, for comets and everything else. Uh, 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 what do they call them? Meteors and all this, meteorites and all of this stuff like that. But this is the electrical works on the ceiling of the dome. Now the, the next thing is that pieces of the dome fall to and on the ground at times. And people consider them meteorites and so forth. The universe, the universe is it's it's makeup. The universe is made up in the form of fields: is the electric field, magnetic field, mass field, ether field, density, buoyancy, and spin. Now, 
Once again, these are all of the sky objects. And once again, this is a ultimate warning. It is a red alert. It is nothing to be playing with. The Phoenix and the Nemesis is coming. 2040 A.D. to 2046 A.D. Approximately 50% to 60% of the human race will be removed or perish. If everything happens like clockwork in the sky... This is what will happen. So therefore, please share this video. Please share this video and and take care of yourselves.